Uh, so what's up guys this is your boy Nick and welcome back to this tutorial and this is a bit not a, like a tutorial I would just like to say my experience with a uh, Ziva, uh, Ziva face trainer so I applied for Ziva face uh, trainer and I was a bit disappointed with the way I came to saw it and for me, I just came up that this one is not what I can just recommend for the beginners. If you want to do some uh, rip syncing or you just want your character to work good because it's not for beginners. Maybe for those people who are in big companies or those people who are doing big projects who just want to do their character training. But for those people who are just doing the normal job, I don't think this thing for you. So the reason is to why I would just like to show. First of all, what I did is that I just went to the Ziva Dynamics. And this is the page they opened for you. And when you click here, you have the Ziva Face Trainer, which you just click. And then you can just request the demo. You just need to fill this form. And when you are done, they will just send you... Uh, the link that you just need to come here just sign into your account and then here you can just go to your license and when you go to your license then now you have the uh like this one you have the face trainer and then they're showing me this is just one issued on this date uh renewable date is not available so you just click face trainer and this is what you have so like you can see here they just tell you that you have the before using the Ziva trainer, you must prepare your custom face. Please download and be careful. Uh, and carefully follow the instruction. So there are some instructions. Like if I just go to my download here, let me just go to download, and then we have this one here. Whatever I downloaded, and now you can see here you have like uh, this is the source mesh that you can just use if you don't have your source mesh. And then you have the uh, instructions here that will show you uh, how you can do your character training. And the thing here is that they expect you recommended software. You need uh, RAP3, which is uh, they call the Russian 3D scanner. And then you need also the Maya. So for you to be able to make this character. So if you don't have the problem, the check that I found is that you need to drop this uh, file here. Like you can see, I dropped the first one into field because they, they say the mesh and whatever was not uh, uh, fitting. Then I also did another one here and also failed. And then this one was successive. This character is the one that you are seeing here on my computer. This is a character that I had. And if you just play this character, it's a very weird thing. So there's even this character is not looking up. And then you just have to download this character. And like you can see, if you just do the download, uh, you have something like this, which look very weird. So this is, for me, was a disappointment. And if I just made a mistake and you have XP, you can just show me. So the reason, what I had to do, if you just, I go back here to my out here back and i just click this one here no uh, I, I you can see i have the two files this one is the source mesh and then you have the validated mesh and this is in obj and what they need here is an fbx so i come up with an idea where i have to use the icron and if i go back here i had to come here and take this one the validate and i drop it here because I was sure that the icon uh, could be able to um, to load this one card. So this is just a head and everything. So the bad thing, you know, my experience with the icon is that the icon can do the rip syncing. It can do everything that you want. And now you need just in this character and to behave the same, the same character that is in OBJ, which is not just going to do your job the way you want. So what I just did here, because they were saying that you needed the softwares, the two softwares, we, we, uh, uh, this one that we said here, um, the Maya and everything. So I decided now I'm just going to convert to export this character. I export this character as an FPX and now how to choose Maya. I just choose Maya and I, I just I had to export this character. So this character, I've exported it and bring it back here. This is what I got the result. So that's why um, I just 
but that uh, this is not so fair for those people who just want to begin it. It's just for those people, I think, they have their own characters and then they can just come here and just draw the Russian 3D and then they have the Maya 2, which is very expensive. And remember, if you just take this screen here, this is just the trainer that we have. And you can see this trainer is just trying to move the face and just the muscle for the face, which is also this. Remember, this character is already the validated one. And this is what you get at last. Or this is what you get when you just download this one here. And that's all. So there's nothing like this is just for the beginners like a waste of time. So uh, I think if you're just looking for the good lip syncing, just go for things like the Icron, which you know that can do the good lip syncing. Already with the cutter, which they are full bodied. If you just want for the trainer, the first trainer, you can just use a uh, Ziva or you can just go for the 3D, Lash and 3D. I know Lash and 3D is also a very good one, all up three. And you can just look for the version, but I will not recommend for you to go for the Ziva face trainer if you are the beginner. This just need somebody who have the experience with whatever they are doing. Uh, so uh, th thank you guys for um, watching this video and for the information that I've given you. If you have any question, you can just um, uh, let me know or uh, if you just have any. So thank you guys and bye bye for now.